Thank you. Tammy Sue Baker, thank you for yes. being with us today. And, Hi there, everybody. And uh, this is my team here. <laughs> and and uh, we're so thrilled what God's doing mm -hmm. because Jesus is coming soon. Amen. And today I'm going to be talking about the chapter before the rapture mm. yes. Amen. in Book of Revelation. And it's a mystery chapter. Mm. You don't want to miss today's broadcast because... This is when I like to preach. That's right. Because that's... I didn't understand it when I first started studying it uh -huh. and till I found who the mystery person was. Mm. And it's really important to, to, to know that. So get yeah. your Bibles out, yes. get ready, and go mm -hmm. to Revelation and um, get ready for Jim to teach us all. Yes. Mondo, news, yes. news, news, news today. And we don't have time for a lot of news, but Man, it's happening. Yeah. Yes, sir. All the, the volcanoes signs. keep going on. Listen, I got one right here. 34 earthquakes rattle world's largest active volcano, raising fears of eruption. Where's that? In Hawaii. Wow. These are signs Jesus said would be before yes. he returns. We're there, and they're gaining. It's gaining like Every month, it seems like. You know, and if you don't think it's, it can happen to you, the people in San Vincent didn't think it was going to happen to them. And this is why you have to dig deep in, in your research because the headlines, the news don't want to panic you. And we're not here to panic you. We bring you the news. And you told me the other day, we bring the people the, the news so you can pray, so you can intercede from your home. But this is what's happening in St. Vincent, according to the AP. St. Vincent seeks water funds as volcano keeps erupting. Water, water is running short as heavy ash contaminates supplies. Wow. They estimated that the Eastern Caribbean island will need hundreds of millions of dollars to recover from the eruption. How many people evacuated? S between 16,000 and 20,000 people have been evacuated from the island right now. This is the reason we do this, and we, God spoke to me in the prison yes. to bring the news to the people mm -hmm. And then equate it, and that's why I study Revelation and the news. Yes. Revelation, Revelation. We have a program called Revelation in the news. Yes. But put it together, and you see the Lord is coming. And with the dating and all, and and you know Tom Horns giving us literally dates yeah. when a when a asteroid is to hit the Earth. Listen, in a few the days ago have given it that date. In, in a few right. days, you talked about. You know, we've learned with your teaching that there will be signs in the heavens. And just a few days ago, the news didn't report this. Maybe, maybe a few. An asteroid came near Earth. And in Florida, they watched this. And cameras captured this moment. Uh, but I want to tell you something. Those are all the signs that you talk about. Another earthquake magnitude that is rattling Rich Chris, California. The pressure that is, is a, a mountain in there is... What they're watching for. I'm, I'm telling you, this is not normal. But I want to go back to what you if prophesied. If you don't do anything else but get right with God. Yeah. That's it. That's you got to get have. right with God because you don't want to go to the wrong place. No, that's the hope we have is our hope is in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's run it. Go, let's go ahead and run it. This morning, a warning for those refusing to evacuate St. Vincent. It is over time for you to leave. It is highly dangerous this as the biggest explosive eruption yet rocks the caribbean island the volcano firing ash and hot gas early monday morning satellite images showing the massive eruptions from space the series of eruptions leaving roofs like this demolished these side-by-side -side videos captured on the same saint vincent road just three months apart show the stark difference between the once sunny tropical island and its now ominous ash-filled sky the lava flow so hot it can boil the sea. Very few structures in the world that could stand up to the forces of that material. Plumes reaching as far as Barbados, 110 miles east of St. Vincent. It's not raining water, it's raining like a mud. Meanwhile, if another eruption in a tourist hotspot, Iceland, new images of tourists crowding around the active volcano there, erupting for the first time in 800 years. These are very different types of volcanoes. What makes St. Vincent so dangerous is that it doesn't spew out slow moving lava, but super hot gas, ash and rocks that can move at speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Wow. wow. Listen, when wow, you add God. up Iceland, you add up 
uh, the Pacaya uh, volcano in Guatemala that is erupting right now, that is even disrupting the airport. The airport in Guatemala City had to be shut down because the ash was so thick, there was a no-fly zone. Then you're watching St. Vincent, and then you're going to watch Hawaii erupt at any moment. These are active volcanoes that are taking place. Where do you go? Where does 16 to 20,000 people go for food and water? Where, where, where do people, no one prepares for these moments because we never think it's going to happen to us. But listen, when you watch Strong Earthquake, this is another one, USA Today, Strong Earthquake kills several people damaging over 300 buildings in Indonesia. We're watching that nation rattle and shake. Japan is rattling yeah. and shake. And our West Coast is just going yeah. bananas. The West Coast, Desert. a lot of the experts are saying that it's on the precipice of the big one. And we're watching that. <clears throat> and you close. know, the thing that we're, we've tried to do our whole life, how long we've been doing it, Lori? 15, 20 years for food. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to yes. get people to store food. We store food. Right. Our ministry has food. Absolutely. And we're trying to do more. Yeah. And we're starting to trying to develop great products, but it's getting harder it and harder and harder to have, you know, like yes. 30 years shelf life food. Mm -hmm. That's not a simple process. Yes. That's right. And what we're seeing is the manufacturing process of any product. I mean, it is unbelievable. I think for us, we're just starting to see it from, from a consumer standpoint, maybe even through the gases, the prices, everything is rising so high. But this is why, you know, we have to get strategic when we're looking for products for you, because even, you know, our vendors are saying we can only supply so many of the items. It's not going to become, it's not going to be available like we used to have the quantities. And so what we're doing now, dad, and I want to share this because what we have decided to do as a ministry, our mission is to prepare you and to continue to give you resources for the for your preparedness, for your family. And so an amazing product that has just been offered to us, this is a limited supply. And when I say limited, it's truly limited. 2,500 of, of this Essentials Mill Replacement Shake. And this is a product that we offered a few years ago and we truly could not get any more. It went out of stock and we finally have been able to get a small amount. 2,500 canisters. This is going to go quickly, but we want to make this available to you today. This is for a $55 donation, but this product right here, this is what it says. It's the missing link in food storage. This product is going to last you over 16 years shelf life. And what we have done, what we have seen with this product is it's all you do is just add water, but it's going to provide for you the nutrients that your body needs. And so we have offered the food, our freeze-dried food, our survival food, but this is the key. This is the key link in providing you your fruits, your vegetables. It is made with 13 whole food vitamins from 12 non-GMO fruits and vegetables. So it's power-packed nutrients in this essentials, essentials meal replacement offer right here. So that becomes a meal. That's right, yes. absolutely. And all you have to do is just to add water yes. and shake it up or stir That's it up. Right. Whatever. It I could cook that. Yeah. Absolutely. It yes. has good source of, of omega-3s, mm -hmm. contains natural electrolytes. Mm -hmm. That's critical for our health to have electrolytes and phytonutrients found in coconut water. And once again, this is over 16-year shelf life food mm -hmm. right here in this canister. Now, and we have a little over 2,000 of these right. canisters. That's right. That's all we have available. And so and we're going to start offering yes. smaller amounts That's of right. things over 16, 16 years. years on the shelf. That's right, wow. absolutely. And to have that there that you can just put away, I wish I could get a whole case of it. Yes, so absolutely. Everybody needs to add this to yes. your existing food storage That's that right. you have. Absolutely. Because it has that the vitamins and minerals the vitamin, and things the that you need. The nutrients that your body needs to nourish the body, especially right. in times of disaster where we've seen, you know, uh -huh. when, you are, when you're dealing with something like that, you have to nourish the body to keep it functioning mm -hmm. at the very best that it can. And so this is over 16 year shelf life in this Essentials meal replacement right here. Mm -hmm. But I want to also just make it very clear. This is a temporary price offer that we have available for just right now as once 
once we go through the 2,000 that we have available, then the prices will go up from I want there. them to see that the, yes. the, the uh, food on the outside of that bucket there. Just turn it around so you can see Absolutely. the food there, mm -hmm. on, like right there. That is an amazing product. Right. It's We've 13. used it. We've tested it. It is an amazing product. Yeah, right. It it's is. whole. This is whole food. That's These are right. whole food vitamins, non-GMO. That's pretty amazing. But, and you you just make food absolutely by adding the water. You have to one it. scoop and you add water, and this promotion won't last long. It's for a fifty-five dollar donation for one canister of the Essentials Meal Replacement. We've also put together a four pack where you'll receive four of the Essential Meal Replacement canisters, mm -hmm. and that's for a donation of two hundred dollars to the ministry. And all these offers include the shipping and handling to Boy, your home. That's no, a, I want that's people. That's a good idea. The four. Yes. Yeah, I want people to understand. Understand, yeah. I'd get, I would get a couple of the buckets right now. We have yes. them in stock, but they won't last. Mm -hmm. But, but a, a few days. Yes. And the thing is, we're going to start offering you where we can get a bargain. Absolutely. Where we can get it made. We can't even get things made anymore. It's very no. difficult. It's getting more and more. I mean, we're having more day. and more problem. Yeah. We have like one of the things from Doctor Don and Mary's product. Yes. They, they've been having. Uh, the the product yes. had difficulty because it takes like several months yes. to grow the product. Yeah, the that's biotic. In it's the a bi live biotic. The biotic. It has so yes. it has to be grown live. That's and, right. You know, and all. And so right now we've gotten behind on that, and it was not. You, it's can't we can't rush it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But if you so if you want that good product, yeah, we've got to wait until the. God grows it, yeah, <laughs> you right, know, right. and it's so, quality and that's what we're doing. We're, we're seeing difficulties yeah. and there is happening all over and in the food is, industry. Absolutely. You know, we're seeing it in our food industry. We're seeing it in the generators. We're seeing it, you know, even with the printing press, which, you know, we are committed to bringing you great authors and books to help be resources. You know, there's a but shortage of paper. Abso absolutely. I'm aware of it because I'm dealing with it on the front lines every Not single day. Not just toilet paper. That's right. Book paper. Yes, yes, absolutely. There's a shortage. That's right. And books that we... You know, we ordered are are, are, yes. are behind. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've ordered our book ahead of time. So on July 4th, it's That's supposed right. to be out. So yes. we're hoping it will be. Mm -hmm. But we're living in perilous times, Mondo. Yes. There's there's jobs. Unemployment in America yes. is it's not as much unemployment. It is people not taking the jobs. I, I can't believe Let me read you this headline to back up what you're saying. This is according to uh, NBC News. There are now more jobs available than before the pandemic. So why aren't people signing up? And this is the bottom of the headline. The number of jobs of vacancies soared to nearly 15 million in March, up to 10 million before the pandemic. There's over 7 million jobs available in the United States right now. And the problem we're seeing is that people don't want to go back to work. Listen, people, it's time to get back to work. I know you're afraid. I know you're ner nervous, but it's time to get America back working again. Restaurants are having a hard time employing people. There's factories that are having a hard time employing people right now. Therefore, Dad, we're seeing this headline again, another headline from NBC News. Get ready for higher grocery bills for the rest of the year. The latest spike in grocery bills comes from the back of prices that rose during last year's pandemic stockpiling. Gas skyrocketed by 9.1% last month. Fruit and vegetables have risen by nearly 2%. We're watching the numbers change constantly and people can't keep up, but we got to get people back to work. Yes, and if you understand volcanoes, mm -hmm. you understand why the food will be gone. Yeah. Volcanoes cause the sun and the moon to go dark, especially the sun, you know, and the food don't grow then. You understand that? Absolutely. And that's why we want people to be prepared and be ready. And remember, there's coming perilous times and water's going to be in short. Water will yes. be poisoned according to the book of Revelation. Yes. And we've been sending these out like crazy.
because this is the only thing I know. You can carry this anywhere you want to. So we have a special on these. You can get them six of these yes. for $165. Is that right, Mondo? Yes, sir. $165 for six of the 28-ounce Seisho Extreme Survivor, Survival Water Bottle. I want to tell you, this is a must to have in every vehicle, in every backpack, in your purse, on the go. You say, how am I going to have water in the last days? This yeah, is it. That's it. Take yeah. a rain barrel, dip water down in there. Don't drink it out of the sky because it's got pure things in it. Mm -hmm. Just take a rain barrel or whatever. Yeah, you can take water from a stream. You can take even uh, a mud puddle. You can you can just don't take the mud. You know you yeah, got to feel. Just remember out. when you get yours, remember to take the little sticker off of there. Yeah. That's to remind you. It says please remove before using. That's going to be the key to making this work. But we'll go to the phone right now. Go to the website jimbakershow.com. All right, go right now. Toll free number, Lori. To it's toll free. That's right. Just call us right now at one eight 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 nine eight eight one five eight eight. Or go to the website, as Mondo said, jimbakershow.com. You can write us still at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. You know, we have thousands of people that have prepared over the years because yes. we've been worked Absolutely. with them. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be embarrassed when times come apart like mm -hmm. they're coming apart now. They're starting to come yeah. apart. And there's, this is just the beginning of the end times. And today we're going to chapter 10, where we're right at chapter 10 in our timing. And so we, we've, we've been through the four horsemen, and then we, we've seen the earthquakes and the volcanoes. And let's see what chapter 10 has to say. All right? So let's dive right in to chapter 10 of the book of Revelation, verse 1. And I saw another, uh, a different, I'm going to, I translate for you, so don't, uh, you know, I'm not giving you just the scripture. I'm giving you the scripture, but I'm giving you the Greek or the Hebrew or the, the, the other words that describe what the Bible, so you can understand what's going on. And this is a mystery, and I want you to see it. And I saw another different, mighty, Different, remember, different forcibles. This is a powerful angel, mighty angel. It means mighty messenger. It means mighty pastor. So wow. we, we, you, you got to understand that this is not just an angel. Yeah. It comes down, descends from the heaven, the sky. The heaven is as a, the boat of God, clothed all around with a cloud cloudiness, a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head. His face was this if it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. Who is this mighty angel, this mighty messenger, this mighty pastor? Let's look at the clues. The first clue is a cloud. Exodus 13 21, verse 21, and the Lord went before them by day and a cloud, a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. So that's King. James. So who was that? That's that was Jesus. That was God <laughs> came in the pillar of cloud came in the pillar of fire. Let's read Daniel 7, 13. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Like the Son of Man comes like a, with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. First Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. Let me read this to you. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. Mm, amen. amen. Verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man amen. coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 
Mm. Oh, people, this is exciting. Yes. Praise cloud God. or clouds is in the Bible. Guess, 156 wow. times. Wow, wow. And cloud means God. It's God's clouds. God, Jesus comes yeah. back in the cloud. Genesis 9, 13. He says, I do set my bowl. That's God's rainbow in the clouds. And it shall be take for a token of a covenant before me and the earth. Okay, Dad, so we can understand what you just read, because I think a lot of us, it can go over our heads, but 156 times God is identified with clouds, and that's the first clue. That is a big clue, because the cloud belongs to Christ. He's yeah. coming back in a cloud. Now, the rainbow is the second clue. Let's go to Genesis 9.13. He says, I do set my bow, which is God's rainbow, get that, in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Nobody else has the, the claim on the rainbow, Lori. That's right. Amen. That's God's right. rainbow. That's yeah. It's his rainbow. And you need fact. to remember that because <laughs> that right. is the sign of God. So we got yeah. two, two clues now mm -hmm. in this mystery. Verse 28, as the appearance of the bow, the rainbow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness around about. So who is this person? Mm -hmm. Who is this one that the Bible is talking about here? This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. Mm. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face and I heard a voice of one that spoke this out. That's in King James. And that was Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 28. That's yeah. right. So if you want to go and study that, make sure you, you because you want to follow through with mm -hmm. what so, you're reading. So, so help me here, Mondo. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand. Yes. The first clue was the cloud yes you know very well you've you've been with me enough to know the cloud belongs to god Amen. you got to understand this mystery yes. because this is very important it right really here is. what we're going to learn in this yeah. chapter because the next chapter is the big one mm -hmm. as far as i'm concerned it's the rapture chapter the rainbow belongs to god no one else in the bible Amen. not new age Amen. none of none of this stuff you know That's right Let's get back to Revelation 10, verse 1. And I saw another different, mighty, forcible angel, a mighty angel, a mighty messenger, a mighty pastor come down, descends from heaven, the sky above as the abode of God, clothed all around with a cloud, cloudiness, a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, mm -hmm. and his face was as if it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. So let's go to clue number three. Wow. Clue number three. His face was as if it were the sun. Mm. Lori. Yeah. The Son of God is amazing. Is br he's brighter than the sun. Yes. Yeah. So, he's, yes. He, he's going to light up eternity. Yes. That's right. They say we won't even need the sun. No. That Christ will be the he sun. Yes. So, God. is this a mystery? Do you understand? Yes. It's, so like a, it's like an old fashioned mystery mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. We got to look at the clues. That's right. it. And people, people just. Think, oh, it might, it might be this, it might be that. No, there's only one person it can be. Yeah. And let's go on, we'll find out. Isaiah 60, 19, uh, let's go to verse 19. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for the brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy glory my, thy God will be your glory. Matthew 17, 2. And Jesus was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun. Amazing. Wow. I hope you're reading that on the screen. 
and his raiment was white as the light. Jesus is brighter than the sun. Mm -hmm. God is light. Yes. Amen. 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 Read again, Revelation 10, verse 1. And I saw another, a different, mighty, forcible angel, mighty angel, mighty messenger, mighty pastor, mm -hmm. coming down, descending from heaven above the sky. Mm -hmm. Heaven is the abode of God, mm -hmm. clothed all around with a cloud, cloudiness, a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as if it were the sun, and in his feet as pillars of fire. So clue number four, and his feet as pillars of fire. Mm, wow. Another clue. Another clue here. Exodus 13, 21. And let's go there to verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire mm. to give them light to go by day and night. Revela Revelation 2, 18. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things, says the Lord of God, who have his eye like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like unto fine brass. Wow. This can only be one person. Mm. Uh, 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 can we do that roll in with uh, Rabbi Sobel? In order to better understand the chosen and the New Testament for that matter, we have to understand the Jewish concept of the Messiah. So in Jewish thought, there's actually two Messiahs. There's Messiah son of Joseph, and there's Messiah, son of David. The Messiah, son of David, was gonna be like King David, a great warrior, a military Messiah, who was gonna defeat the enemies of Israel, bring a time of peace and prosperity, and gather the lost tribes of Israel, establishing the Messianic kingdom. But there was also another Messiah, a lesser known or lesser desired Messiah, which is the Messiah, son of Joseph, whose life parallels Joseph in the Bible. Think about it for a moment. Joseph was rejected by his brothers. He was stripped of his tunic. He was thrown into the pit. He was sold for silver. He was falsely accused, but gets elevated to a place and position of power and authority. We see all this in every detail happening in the life of Yeshua Jesus in fulfillment of Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53. So we see two messiahs, but actually there's not two messiahs, but two comings. The first time the messiah comes, he would come as the lamb of God to die for our sins and to bring spiritual freedom and forgiveness. But at the second coming, he would return as the lion of the tribe of Judah to establish the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven and wipe every tear from our eyes. With the state the world is in today, more than ever, we need to pray his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. The day that I finally came to the conclusion, this is Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, clue number five, only Jesus is worthy uh, to open the scroll. Yes. So this is Jesus. So I want to tell you, the greatest miracle, I, I'm not the greatest, but I have a great miracle, but this is one of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, the day I'm in the prison mm. studying this Revelation chapter 10, and, and we're studying it, and other inmates are studying it with me. There was, a, it was another minister in prison, and he, he was my co-studier, and we studied this together. And I go out onto the, to the track, which the track was where we could walk around. It wasn't that we were that great about exercising. It was just that that was where we had the private time. And we had our little radios. We had the little cell radios on. And so I turned on the radio. And guess whose broadcast is there? Somebody you met. 
you love him. Mm -hmm. He loves me. Mm -hmm. I know that. Is David Jeremiah. Yes, Dr. David Jeremiah. Great, great him. man of God. Yes. So here's David Jeremiah. Listen to me. He's on the radio preaching, and he's preaching Revelation mm -hmm. chapter 10, mm -hmm. where we are right now. Yes. And he says, this can only be one person. Mm -hmm. This can only be one person. His name is Jesus. Amen. 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 So clue number five, only Jesus is worthy to open the scrolls. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Yeah. This is Jesus. You hear arguments. And, and so I read everything in prison, studying, you know, trying to learn what the revelation means. Sure. Well, so I'm studying it all. And, and then when, when uh, David Jeremiah, it's like, He's my associate <laughs> at that moment. In well, it's like having stuff. somebody sitting right next to you yeah. and giving you the answer to what's in your heart. Yeah. And they don't know, but God whispers mm -hmm. it to them. Mm -hmm. How could I turn on the radio, Lori, right, at, at the same moment? moment because this is what many, I'm, many, the same many years day, ago. Right. Yeah, years ago this when is, I was in you, prison. This is many years ago. Over 20 yeah, years ago now, right? Oh, 25 plus. And you <laughs> were, you know, back then it was... I survived every, prison. You yeah. sure did. I'm but still everything standing. wasn't on demand is what I'm saying. It was like, you. it, hap it just happened to be. But well, it's important. You know who these people are and what... It, who Jesus is when he's in this thing and mm -hmm. and they're describing it and you'd only people who know these cute clues sure. would know I love that clues. this is this Jesus mm -hmm. yeah. so he Jesus can open the scroll mm -hmm. what does the scroll represent let's go to Revelation chapter 5 uh, verses 4 and 5 and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. The scrolls are talking about. Verse 5, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, because the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, open the scrolls. Who, who is that? Mm. That's Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. He's the lion of Judah. Amen. Mm. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Wow. So clue number six. And he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth. This is a mighty, mighty image yeah. of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's in control. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and every, absolutely. Nothing's by accident in the Bible. No. Only Jesus and the Father have total command. And here's Jesus, Matthew 28, 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me mm. in heaven and on earth. Hmm. Daniel 7, 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, all nations and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Whoa. Amen. Clue number seven is the lion roareth. Back to Revelation 10, verse 3. And I cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And at other times we've studied the seven thunders. Hebrews 7, 14, let's go there. For it is evidence that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe uh, Moses speaking, nothing concerning priesthood. Could we go to uh, Colonel Giamona? Yes. And, and he's going to talk about it from the seminar that he did here. Let's, let's, let's roll that piece. A lot of people that I meet believe Jesus Christ is this hippie with long hair and a robe and sandals and going about doing good. And that he would not harm a fly. Well, that's not the Christ I know that's coming back as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Not only that, 
He's coming back with a sword in his mouth to slay the Antichrist and all the enemies of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Lord I know is a God of miracles. He is a God of healing. He's a God of provision. He's a God of power. He's a God of rivers of living water flowing from his very throne to touch a lost and dying world. That's the God I serve. I don't serve a mamby pamby snowflake hippie Jesus. I've been on the battlefield. I know what war is. God has been with me. I could have been killed many times, and I will tell you war stories tonight of almost how I was killed, but God saved me. The God that I serve told me that I would live through all these things because he had a mission for me to be in front of you tonight. So I had to get through all of that to be here tonight, and he is able to do above and beyond all we think. Wow. Isn't that powerful? Yeah. That's the yeah. person we're talking That's about here. That's right. Amen. He's coming back, the Lion of Judah. Amen. 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 Oh, my, our time's running out. Let's go on. Oh back boy. to Revelation chapter uh, 10, verse 3 and 4. Let me read that. The seven thunders. Mm -hmm. The seven thunders. Turn with me to it. Verse 3. And cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth, and when he had cried, seven thunders right. out of their voices. Right. Thunder is always a, 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 a something from God. Yeah, Thundering from heaven. Mm -hmm. Speaking as, as the voice of thunder. Mm. And verse 4, And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. Mm. What are these seven voices of thunders? Wow. Turn with me to Psalms 29, verses 3 and 4, okay? Here we go. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. D listen, if you want to know who God is, you want to know what's coming. And so, you know, maybe we shouldn't be afraid of thunder at night sometimes. <laughs> you know, my dogs are just. <laughs> Frightened of thunder. Do your dogs oh, like thunder? Oh, yes. Is no, they don't. My dog is afraid of thunder. I'm afraid of thunder sometimes. <laughs> oh, I have two dogs. Sometimes their house know. shakes when that thunder yeah. comes through, And right? they're afraid. Mm. But, you know, God thundereth. Yes. Mm. The God of glory thundereth, the Bible says. The Lord is upon many waters. Mm. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. God has not let us know what the seven thunders, the voice of God said, so it must be information man is yet to know. Wow. Let's get back to Revelation 10, okay? Uh, verse 5. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven. This is Jesus. Mm. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are in the earth and the things that therein are in the sea and the things which are therein that there should be no time no longer. Oh, uh oh, wow. Did you hear that? Yes. Mm -hmm. This can only be the son of God. He has control over time. He and his father, yeah. God, Amen. and he's the one time shall be no more. Only God can say time is up. Could this little book be the message God gave to his son that the end of the gospel is about to take place? The exact minute, hour, and day. This mystery. Turn to Mark 13, 32. Let's do that. Let's go to 13, 32. But of that day... In that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels. So this is not an angel. This is Jesus. So not even the angels in heaven are, know the time mm. of the coming of the Lord. Did you know that? N neither, no one, but the Son, Jesus Christ. 
and the Father. Back to Revelation 10, verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he begins to sound, oh, trumpet <laughs> is that, Lori? Right. Boy, I learned about trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> when you study Revelation, you understand trumpets are from the generations to Revelation. God trumpets. Yes. The trumpet of God. Let, let, me, let me read that again. Let me read that again. Mm. Let me turn in my Bible. Verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he begins to sound, to trumpet, to sound a blast, the mystery of God should be finished. Hmm. We told you we were going yeah. to unveil of mis mis yes. mystery, did we not? Yes. Is this not an unveiling of mystery? Absolutely. Who is this? This is Jesus. This mystery is Jesus. So let's let's let me let me read that again. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, to trumpet, to sound the blast. The mystery of God shall be finished, as he had declared to announce. Good news. You evangelize, especially the gospel. That's what it means. To his servants, the prophets, the rapture is about to take place. Praise God. Wow. God, what God. is this mystery that is finished? Ephesians 3, 3 uh, ver through verse 6. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. Mm. Oh, that word mystery is so powerful. I could take a whole hour just to teach on mystery. As I wrote before in a few words, verse 4, whereby when you read, you may know and understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Verse 5 which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles, his prophets by the Spirit. Verse 6, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and the partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Go to wow. Ephesians 5.32. Verse 32, this is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Mm. Oh, back to wow. Revelation 10, verse 8. And when the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. This is, this is Christ. And I went unto the angel, the messenger, and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. It shall be, make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in the mouth sweet as honey. Verse 10. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, the messenger's hand, and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. The gospel and the rapture is life to one and death mm -hmm. to another. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Revelation 10 again, verse 11. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy to foretell the events, divine speaking under inspiration, exercise the prophetic office uh, again before many people and nations and tongues and languages and kings and leaders. Mm -hmm. John is told that he will touch the world with this message, nations will hear his words. I'm giving it to you right now. They will be translated into many languages, and even the world leaders will hear what he will speak and write. Amen. Let, let, let's go back to Colonel Giamona. Anybody here ever served with the 82nd Airborne Division? <coughs> it's the paratroopers. Oh, they're really proud, they're tough, we're hua hua. And what I used to tell those guys all the time, I said, yeah, you jump out of airplanes with everything you have on, and you're going to last a total of three days unless we come and get you. 
Because by the end of three days in combat, they'll have no more food, no more ammo, no more supplies, and they're dead in the water. And I think it's laughable, really. I hear this all the time, and I'm sure you do too, from Christians that say this. Well, it's really not spiritual to talk about getting supplies for the end times and getting physically ready. To <laughs> it's not really spiritual to um, talk about putting food prep together and putting logisticals together and, and things for you and for your family to survive. And I, and I respond by this way. Okay, so let me take all of your toilet paper and see how long you like that. <laughs> I think it's laughable that a lot of people will say, well, God will supply. But you know, the thing is, God is also giving us wisdom and a brain. And he's given us insights. And he's given us, you know, people like Pastor Jim Baker and others that will go, are going before us with the foresight that in the end, we're going to need all of these supplies. We're going to need food. We're going to need water. We're going to need all these things. And so I don't really buy in the fact that, you, quote, you're super spiritual if you're, you're totally unprepared. Think about this. Think about going to a commanding general of a division and say, sir, I don't think we really should take food with us or water into combat. What do you think his reply, is, his reply is going to be before he crushes you? The fact of the matter is we're not just spirits floating around. We have physical bodies. We have physical deeds. And God has put us together for such a time as this to get our act together. He's given us time now to prepare for the future. <laughs> he is right, and we need to be ready. Yes. Our time's kind of getting away from our show mm -hmm. today, but mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed chapter 10. Yes. One chapter to go mm -hmm. to the rapture. I, we would be remiss if we didn't make this available to you, which is Jim's full teaching mm -hmm. on the book of Revelation, and we call it Revelation Revealed, where he takes 30 hours, mm -hmm. and this is incredible. You know, really, Jim, this is one of your greatest works ever, if, if not your greatest work, mm -hmm. because this is explaining to everybody, and you've made Revelation so easy to understand. I remember sitting through all of your mm -hmm. classes and going through all this with you and going, I finally understand Revelation Absolutely. for the first time. You well, know? this is that's really about 25 years of my work, mm -hmm. and uh, this this is uh, my notes of the Book of Revelation. Yeah, this is what I prepared to to speak from, and this came from the prison years, all the studying, studying every word. Mm -hmm. In the Hebrew and Greek, mm -hmm. studying the words yes. mm -hmm. uh, to, so I could understand it better. That's right. You know, and 99% of it is all scripture. Right. I mean, you got the Reader's Digest on this hour yes. on this program. That's why we want you to order the full set but because I was, there's scripture after scripture after scripture. I want to tell them that right now I'm rewriting all these notes. Mm -hmm. This will be the first time. Do you know only you have a copy? Yes. yes. And my son, Ricky. Uh, Ricky. Ricky has a copy. Yes, he does. But I've decided to this year to publish in a, in a big book every note wow. of the Revelation. And the handwriting, because in here is my, mm -hmm. my notes, mm -hmm. and it... So you're saying that then there's this book is going notes. to be um, the made books. up of, the, of this right here? Yeah, it's going to be my That's notes, exciting. Yes. only it's going to be cleaned up a little bit from this. Mm -hmm. And the notes will be in, we have a, a typeset yes. that is actually my handwriting. That's right. right. That's my right. My printing. Mm -hmm. And so my, my notes will be in my own handwritten yes. notes. Mm-hmm. In the book, yeah, mm -hmm. along with the revelation. Yeah. 
So this will be the, the whole com- teaching. Yes. This will be u- up to date, the newest, and I'll be adding mm-hmm. things to it as we go along this year. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't even know why I'm telling you that, except <laughs> that this is the most important to look work of my to. life. Yes. And I, I had to go to prison to get this. Mm-hmm. So it's worth a billion dollars to me because that's what it cost me to go to prison. I lost and, everything. But for right now, we have Revelation Revealed DVD set for $100, again, 30 hours of gym teaching. And that includes your shipping and your handling. It is excellent. A lot of people use it to uh, teach home Bible studies or oh, yeah. Sunday school or, you know, just get together and, you, you know, can, believe it or people not. People do their Sunday school class right. with the video. Yes, yes. right. Wednesday and there's video services. in there, Lori, from uh, that as we've gone along, like mm-hmm. the, the great earthquakes and all... Yeah. The, the, the volcano, they're all pictured in here. Yes. And the things that are in the so Revelation a lot of graphics are pictures. Too. Right. And I don't know if anybody has the Revelation teaching mm-hmm. with pictures of what John was talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It really is excellent. So take advantage of this offer at, by calling us at 1-888-988-1588 or going to the website, Jim Baker Show. Dot com. We also have what we've been, what Jim has been teaching, um, the book of Revelation. The brand on, new ones exactly, from the shows. Exactly, on the Jim Baker show. Yeah. So as you've been watching them, we have them put on DVD so you can receive part one. This is the Revelation Generation and part two, Revelation Generation, from now to the rapture. Both of them for $40. So we got one more to tape to go on this set. That's right. right. And that's the rapture chapter, yes. which is coming Amen. up next. So that'll be ready to go in just a few weeks. That's right. And so if you order that now, you'll get both sets. Mm-hmm. Set uh, one, one and two. And two. <laughs> that's right. And you receive all of this. And, it, and it's everything you've been teaching on the broadcast. So it's taken straight from the broadcast. You will enjoy it because it's something you've been watching. And maybe you've missed a day or two, and here it all is right here for yeah, you to put together. Yeah, it's right up to date mm-hmm. with with all the things, Wanda, we've been talking yes, about with earthquakes, volcanoes. Volcanoes, and- water shortages, food crisis, yes. the, un- the civil unrest taking place. We're watching major events, and you're leading us all the way up to the rapture right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. I, and speaking of I can't wait crisis, for the next with- chapter. <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> either, right. of course. We're all excited, but, you know, talking about food crisis, we have this new yes. essential meal replacement That's right. program which and this canister and there's only you know a few thousand available. That's right. This is a limited supply. They right can be gone here. today. I'm that not and be. I'm serious. Yes. They have absolutely these this is such a one of the best items we've ever mm-hmm. offered. It absolutely is. Well, you know, as it says here, which I love, this is the missing link in food storage. Right. So this product, all you do is you add water to it, you shake it, it's ready to go. Very easy. But the amazing thing is it lasts for 16 plus years. Mm-hmm. So over 16 year shelf life storage mm-hmm. for this product right here made with 13 whole food vitamins mm-hmm. from 12 non-gmo fruits and vegetables Excellent. so this is going to help nourish your body your system and so we want you to take advantage of this offer right now this right. is going to be a limited supply and mm-hmm. um, this is the essential meals replacement offer you'll receive one of the canisters for a 55 dollar donation right better yet we yeah. have the four pack which is four of the canisters mm-hmm. of the essential meal replacement for a donation of $200 to the ministry Mm -hmm. and that includes the shipping and handling and dad if you don't mind I'd like to show you just a quick video how many do you actually have of these we have 2,500 so this is our first First day day of taping Mm -hmm. and so you know we're just gonna let it go and when it's gone the call center the Mm toll-free number will let you know Mm -hmm. whether it's available or not so if you want it you need to call now because they we can't guarantee another day well this is the product that truly you know we have this limited supply apply but even when we've offered it in the past mm-hmm. we've run out and then mm-hmm. we stop offering at the moment yeah. that it's run out but this is a critical piece to food storage roll that piece if you yes. would like let's roll it hi i'm frank davis founder of Opti to help 
So I'm excited to introduce a new product to you today that I call the missing link to food storage. Food storage traditionally, freeze-dried, dehydrated foods are missing essential nutrients. They also require cooking and preparation. This is a, the missing link. It has all the, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the phytonutrients, the antioxidants, all from Whole Foods, but it has the element of long-term shelf life that has been tested up to a minimum of 16 and a half years with zero loss of any color, nutrients, or flavor. The other missing link is the fact that all you need is water and, and create a, a shape. You don't have to cook it, you don't have to prepare it, you don't have to open multiple cans to create a, a meal. I'm really excited about this product. We have a limited supply. It's probably not something I'm going to replicate. I had a special opportunity I took advantage of. So I want to introduce it to you. It's a great product to take advantage of, especially if you want to have that sense of security. You've got food storage, but you've got something that's portable, something that will give you all the nutrients, and it actually tastes good. Thank you. That's wow, awesome. that's, that's amazing. Okay. Thank you, our good friend Frank. Yes. And that is a product that can be gone today. Order it now. Mm -hmm. And right. what we're going to do, and if you'll help us and stand with, we're going to bring you the products when you you can't get enough product to make. Yeah. A thousand, ten thousand of them or something, that's you right. know. But you can. We have enough for these. Mm -hmm. This little yes. two thousand bottles. And those will be gone quick. I mean, those will be gone very quick. It's one of the most like popular me, products we've ever absolutely had. absolutely is. Yeah. I want a case of them. <laughs> yeah. and, so and I'm not even ordering my case well, today. Well, we want a minimum of the four canisters. Right. And if all of you would order the four canisters, let me tell you what, it'll be gone probably. I don't want to, I don't want to yeah. keep somebody else from having yeah. it. But, but that's what we're doing is as we find bargains <clears throat> and as we get the price reductions in these bargains, we're passing it on to you. So we want to bless you, but you have to call right Right now while yes. the product still is available call right. us at 1-888-988-1588 that's our toll-free number you'll receive one of the canisters for a 55 dollar mm -hmm. donation that includes shipping and handling or the four pack four canisters for a 200 dollar donation to the ministry go to the website jimbakershow.com do it right everything now everything you give goes to keep us yes. on the air and we need help absolutely we really do need help to stay on the air it takes a miracle a day to keep the devil away. So let's keep keep doing it. Amen. Amen. And don't forget the next chapter is the rapture chapter. That's I get right. to preach that next. We can't wait. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for today. Bye-bye. We love you. Call us. <laughs>